Okay, well, let's start a new game. You've lost contact with the Mandrake Research Facility. You have been dispatched to investigate. I... I don't remember what this game is. I think it's like a first person... I think it's like a mist game. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's, uh... I can't... I can't exit to menu. I cannot exit... Really. There's no exit. Really. Hold up. Monumental controls. I can't bring up menu. Alright, hold on, hold on. Yep, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, a little bit of an alt F4 here. If I can get the damn thing to Alright. differently. And it sounds like the audio has reset. It did. It reset the audio controls. Excellent. I mean, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> exactly what you want from a game. Okay. Um, so... Enable controller cues, I guess? I was hoping there'd be something like mouse sensitivity or something else. I think we can take that down even further. Alright. Let's try this again. You sure you want to erase it? Yes, I am. Yeah, so you do not stop immediately. There's, there's like ice skating controls here. That's not cool. I'm not a fan of that. I'm also not a fan of not knowing where the menus are. So C, C is crouch, okay. I am pressing all the buttons right now. Including the F keys, I cannot bring up any menu. I already lose points for that. Hollow Man. Switch tools using scroll wheel, activate current tool using mouse right button. Tools include camera, microphone, flashlight, hint system, digital notebook for quick access to encrypted data notes. I see. So there's the menu. What the Okay, oh my god, this is this is awful. This is absolutely awful controls. So that's the hints. That's microphone. That's camera taking pictures for no damned reason. I don't know what that is. Flashlight. Okay. We probably want that. This is just active for whatever reason. Mouse sensitivity is incredibly out of whack here. Don't want to invert. Invert scroll wheel. Yeah, there's there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. This is bare bones game here. Uh, you know, now that I think about it, so this was a game that was given to me long, long ago. 
and it looked like crap. Uh, I did, I did actually look, I didn't look at number five, but I saw the first game of that, of uh, Observation Duty. It's interesting. I don't know that it's awful. Uh, some of it's a little bit like the jump scare stuff. So what does this journal even do for me if I can't pick that up? I, I mean, what's the point of downloading that if I can't activate my freaking notebook in the menu? Uh, anyway, yeah, so this game was given to me a long time ago, and I don't think it's active anymore. Like, I think it's actually off the Steam store now. Well, undoubtedly, the code for that door is in this PDA, but I can't activate it over here in my freaking... There we go. This, this is an awful interface system, by the way. This is terrible. That's it. Okay, but I don't I still don't have the, the key code for this. So am I gonna have to find that? I'm gonna have to track it down. very old adventure games like the Sidonia and, and those engines appear to be still online the door access code has to be somewhere code five four eight seven five oh god so we're gonna have to basically stop every five feet to read these stupid PDAs I, you know, I might do drunk stream. I haven't done a drunk stream yet. So the research lab is closed off. Housing area. Commons area. Okay. Well, that's up to me. Access door. I, I don't even know. I don't even know, and I can't get out of this now. Can I just get out of it? Can I just get out of it? I just want to get out of it. Jesus. I see. Are these the door codes for the... Okay, okay. And we just clipped through the wall there. That's fantastic. 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 
So wait a minute, Nadia Richards. I don't think she mentioned her door, door code here. Oh god, so these are these are different. These are each different. This looks like a blood stain. <laughs> it's not. Seven-page article on C4 it said it smelled like almonds. It reminded me of the time Max Slav D ate all my almonds. Before she did, I thought a three-toed sloth would be nice. Now I'd hate to be one. If D needs to go, I'll see it. What the? I get the C4 part, and it sounds like there's a D3 in there. Her door was the... The, uh... <laughs> oh no, I you know, I, I get it. Um Yeah, what the hell? Irene's office Hero's room. Value of the first button is twice that of the third but okay. Okay, yeah, this is definitely giving me like Cydonia vibes. This is this is some old school puzzle solving. Like some of the very first puzzle games that I played were like kind of kind of like um, um, I think Seventh Guest and, and whatnot. They're they're very like logic based and mathematical. It's not like Mist. You know, Mist is all about finding objects and whatnot and finding some pictures that give you clues to solving puzzles. Like there there's a whole bunch of puzzle games. Where it, it was literally just like, yeah, you're going to have to do some math. You're going to have to do a logic puzzle here. One data node, so I'll say this. The second button is number five. Oh, boy. And then there's no way to check these off, either. So, like, I'm going to have to keep notes on my own to write down what I have already done and what I... Uh, this isn't creepy at all. Tyler's Axis, Hero's Axis. So, okay. Fuck. So, I bet each of them has their own access code inside their rooms. Hero's Room Code. All the buttons to the door add up to zero, the ultimate answer to life, the universe, and everything. 42. I think that O is a typo there. They add up to the ultimate answer. 42. There are no repeats. Actually, yeah. I agree. If the, if the music was not there... Because this is kind of like the dig music, you know? It's just sort of that atmospheric kind of... Uh, calming serenity music but yeah if it was just silent and it was nothing but ominous sound effects it definitely that would definitely be worse Let's go find Hero. Uh, Tyler, Hero. Hero, okay. What's his deal here? Okay, let's go look at these again. Hero's room. The value of the first button is twice that of the third button. And the value of the fourth button 
is one-third the value of the last button. Okay, but does that mean, like, there are four numbers here? Or is it completely random? So... Okay. Happy powers of two. The second button is number five. Okay. So with that, then... Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to get some damn paper here. Uh, what paper do I want to use? My notepads are all gone. Used them all up in the uh, when we were doing all the adventure games. Okay. Okay. So we know there, there's four numbers, right? Sir, oh, come on, pen. One, two, three, four. Okay. The second one is five. All right. Right. That's that one. Okay. Now, okay, and one last thing. Let's go check this thing. It's just that every everything adds up to 42, right? That's what that said. Get me the hell out of here. buttons add up to 42. Okay. All right. So... Nothing. Second button is five. The first button is twice that of the third button, and the fourth is one third the value of the last button. Well, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. So are there five? Because if the fourth one, then, is not the last one, we have to assume there's five? It, it doesn't actually say. I assume the code is five digits because of what this implies. Because the value of the fourth can't be a third of the fourth, so we have to assume then that the f the last button is five. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I was actually willing to give this a shot and try it. I think I'm done. <laughs> because 42 minus five, right? So we're at 37, which means there's four numbers now that need to add up to 37. That, I mean, right? You can't click on one to make it go away. <sighs> I'm sure, I'm sure there's some algebra I could do to make this. Yeah, I, I could, I could brute force it. I could totally try to brute force it. We know one of the numbers anyway. So like which one of these is twice the value of the third and the fourth would be a third of the last button. So 
So like we got, I don't know, three and nine will be 25. I guess that's how you'd, how you'd look at it, right? You'd have to look for numbers that would be a third of one of the other numbers. So it could be a 3 and 9 or a 4 and a 12. It can't be 5 because 5's already been used. Unless it can be, it, it doesn't specify if the numbers can't be used twice. So, it, I mean, <laughs> the, there's too many variables. They could also be one and three. I mean, Jesus. Okay. Well, let me let me get out of this and then go back into it. Fourteen, five. Seven, four, and twelve? Did that work? That worked. There you go. Well done. Hero's room notes. Control room access for hero is 84620. Yeah, so it is in every single one of these. How do you let a woman know she's the most man person? Eh. See, I don't. I also don't like that all of these notes now are it together in one area. That's really that's really cumbersome. It doesn't allow you to get rid of notes you've already used and don't need anymore. Heroes access. Okay. What was it? Not that one. Not that one. Eight four six two zero. Oh. Eight four six two zero. Oh. All right. That's one. What the hell is this? Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't need to go through all of it. I know. I... Get me out of that. Holy shit. Alright. What was this puzzle again? Right, this is some weird shift. I think this is just a, a shift to get the, the... No, maybe not. We, it's a color code, is what it is. Because they're going to mix colors when they meet together. But like... So there's a color pattern we got to come up with. How do I know that? This is who's... Tyler. I don't think I have any clues for Tyler. Let's move on. Nadia. Right, this is that coordinate thing. Um, okay, Nadia. It says C4. It reminds me of the time Max's sloth D ate all of my almonds. Or is there something with seven... I read a seven-page article that said it smells like almonds. So would that be like 7A? It reminds me of the time Maxis Sloth D ate all my almonds. Before she did, I thought a three-toed sloth would be nice. So D3? No. <laughs> I don't know. And 
that's just a regular that's just a regular door for Irene and William Irene Hero says you finally discovered the meaning of the glyphs. It says the language and syntax are very likely different from our own, so we can't translate anything directly. Somehow we'll be able to find relationships between certain glyphs. Door opens. Oh, it's invisible to us. It's not the right thing. Dang, we have balls. Through. There's got to be something. Okay, there's that. Tyler's a little bit creepy. Read forensic scientists, sociopaths. Yeah, I wonder if you like that. Hey, da -da. Yeah, see, we don't need this one anymore. So can I get rid of that? This, this one, I read a seven page article on C4 that said it smells like almonds. It reminded me of the time Max's sloth, D, ate all of the almonds before she did. B4, B4? Is this D8? Like, is this seriously how this goes? I'd hate to be one. If D needs to go, I'll see to it. Seven page article on C4. It reminds me of the time Max's sloth D, D ate all my almonds. Before I did, I thought a three toed sloth. B4. Before I did, three-toed sloth would be nice. Now I'd hate to be one. B1. If D needs to go, I'll see to it. There are seven of them? Fuck. I read a seven-page article. You'd think that that would be here. It said it smells like almonds. So 7A, I don't know, 7 and almonds? It reminded me of the time Max's sloth, D, ate all my almonds. Five, five sentences. If D needs to go, I'll see to it. It's a three-toed sloth. D3? D's a three-toed sloth? Seven-page article on C4. I mean, that's that. We know that's well, gotta be one. Reminded me of the time Maxis Sloth D ate all of my almonds. D eight. B four. She did. I thought a three-toed sloth would be nice. D the three-toed sloth. I don't fucking know. Now I'd hate to be one. If D needs to go, I'll see C2 it. Fuck. Okay. C2. If D needs to go, I'll see 2 
it. I'd hate to be one. Seven page article on C4. Said it smells like almonds. It reminded me of the time Maxis Loth D8 all my almonds. B4 she did. I thought a three toed sloth would be nice. A3, A3. I thought A3 slow to. Uh, yeah, okay. A3 toed sloth would be nice. That's only six. A7. <sighs> Fuck that. This is worse than mist. I'm tired of waiting for here to make a move. I'm going to wait until after everyone's asleep and sneak into the room. Men like it when women are assertive, right? Now I just have to figure out that darn password of his. Anyways, I tried to watch when he entered it in last night. There are five numbers. But I saw the last one, it was 12. Oh my god. So here here would have been the clue for the first one that we went through. So we don't need that clue anymore. That's worthless. What the hell is this? <sighs> Figure out what happened to the aliens who used to live here. All remains I've recovered until the same story. An enlightened society abruptly ended when the core stopped spinning. Same solar winds that make the surface exactly wiped out the aliens years ago. Well, did they try setting off a nuke in the core of the planet? I'm sure that would have done it. My portion of the control room's access. 4129. Okay. I, I, need, to, I need to get... Scrap paper... Nadia, 41293. Looks like there's something under there. This one on. <sighs> Go down the hole. Good God. Nadia's access. Four, one, two, nine, three. Well, yeah, the, the color puzzle just shows the color wheel. It doesn't show any particular order, though. Is there something else up here that I missed? Got that one. Wait a minute. sure that that means anything. Oh, there we go. There's that. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is going to be teal, red, teal, yellow, purple, yellow, uh, pink, teal, red, teal, yellow, pink. Oh, yeah.
Got a built-in thing there. Alright. What was your deal? Right, the acoustics. Uh, and you gotta let it do this. To get out of it. You can't just pull back. I hate that. You should be able to cancel interaction. Alright. So then there's this. But that's just... That's just a color wheel. I'll take a picture anyway, I guess. I already got that one. You know, I can crouch. Is there a reason for that? Oh, hey, there's one... I missed completely. Jesus. Irene... Mandrake. Tyler's beginning to worry me. He follows me everywhere. I know what he wants, and I'm worried that he might do to me if I enough from William. Such a fool is almost perfect. Hmm. We haven't gone into the research lab yet, either. Um, okay, which one was that? Alright. So, we need to make... I'm gonna guess just... Let's see, so teal and red. And then teal. I don't know how I can make that with these, though. So it is green. So we got that. We now need to make yellow. Which I believe is the RGB. Which would make... So teal red, we got we got to make that, right? Teal red, teal. That'll make yellow. That'll make purple. Uh, that will not make yellow. So that has got to be this this one. I gotta get that over. here. Um, I cannot. It's not letting me move this. Hold on a teal, red, teal, yellow. We did not make purple with that one. Alright. Let me get my photograph. Oops. Teal, red, teal, yellow, purple, yellow. Pink. Teal, red, teal, yellow, pink. Okay. Oh, so that that's what this is for. To record something, then. Is that... Why is it different now? It's not... It's... What is it doing? Now anyway, let's get back to this one. Um, this. I guess. 
I mean, okay. So green, yellow, red, pink, blue, and then we make teal with the green, so. <sighs> um, okay. So, teal was that one, followed by red, followed by teal. To make yellow, that's not going to work. So now that'll make yellow. That makes purple. This doesn't make yellow. So, I needed to get these two over here. Teal, red, teal, yellow. This does not make the pink. Yeah, the purple, rather. Teal, red, teal, yellow, purple. And that's going to make teal again. So i got to get these guys over here now. Teal, red, teal. That doesn't do it for the U. I'm just, it's making the same patterns here. Well, yeah, the, the pink is magenta, I guess. And the, the blue is not teal, it's cyan. But if we want to be technical about it, Teal, red, teal, yellow, purple, that doesn't fit. So this must be the one that's screwy. Okay, so teal, red, teal, yellow, purple, that makes green, that doesn't make the yellow that I need. top row was correct? What do you mean? When when it was when it was this? Teal yellow purple. Uh, final colors are these. That doesn't work there. That doesn't work there. Green is correct, all right. Red is correct, so we just need to work on this. Teal, red, teal. No, nope, not that one. Well, it, 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 they can't be correct because I, I'm missing a purple here. There's supposed to be a purple. It can't be correct. So how... okay. So there's got to be just a red and a red. Actually, actually, no, wait a minute. That works because it would have to be red, red, red. You know, if I actually did this. So you, okay, hold on, hold on. So to make teal, you need green, blue. To make red, you need red. To make teal, you need green, blue. To make yellow, you need red, green. To make purple, you need red, blue. And then yellow, you need red, green. There's not... 
yellow. That that there, there's not there's not three reds in a row though. Right. So you got red, purple, like the the yellow, purple, yellow requires. It, re it requires three reds in a row. That's why this is screwy, because you can't make... You can't make that. Space red, space red, space red red, space red, space red red. Okay. It's blue? It's blue, not purple? I g yeah, I guess. I guess so, because the pink is... Pink is magenta. Okay. Jesus Christ, it'd be nice if they made it look a little bit bluer. So it's not purple, it's blue. Okay. That that's a little bit easier because then you just go green, blue, then you go red, then you go green, blue, and then you go red, green, and then you go just regular blue, and then you go red, green, and then you go with the red and the blue, and then you go with the uh, green and the blue, and then you go with the red, and then you go with the green and the blue, and then you go with the red and the green, and then you go with the red and the blue. Okay. So the pattern then would be space red, space red, space red, red, space red, space red, red. Okay, check. Green, space, green, green, space, green, space, green, space, green, green, space. Okay, blue, space, blue, space. Get out of here. Blue, space, blue, space, blue. Space, blue, blue, space, blue, space, blue. There we go. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There it is. Tyler's room. Control key. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tyler. That makes this so much damned easier. Tyler, control room 67854. Control room key. Wait a minute, control room key or his actual... Okay, it's the same, same thing. <laughs> Irene's room key. Irene, four, seven, eight, six, five, two, eight, nine, two, two. I guess I could just use that. <laughs> I still, I still hate the interface for this. I'm not sure what the point with these logs is. I don't know why I'm here. We need a forensic science now. Go job for me. Planet's core. Things should come around if only William qu quit watching me. All right. Have we come across weird noises anywhere else? Got you, got you. Uh, you are Irene. Four, seven, eight, six, five, two, eight, nine, two, two. Irene Mandrake. 
Tell I mentioned more than once that some of have an alien ruin it all go home. I know he feels useless, but we have one shuttle. Pray it'll do something drastic. I have Bill locked down the access doors to the airlock, the shuttle bay, and other places that Tyler doesn't need to be. Some concerns about Tyler with Titan security. More important, he can't get out of the lab through the airlock. That would give him access to the ruins, and I don't want him there unsupervised. God, we're not even outside this thing yet. There's more puzzles. I'm guessing this is the sound we actually need. Room notes. Control key. William. Access key six seven eight five four. Okay, Irene's access, Williams' access. 
four zero. Nope. Four zero three five one. Okay. So we just need Irene. And it's probably in this door to Irene's office. Okay. I do not know how to listen to these. Well, but it looks like it, it's it's recording. When I when I activate it, it looks like it's recording and not playing. Somehow I was able to record three clips, but I'm not able to record any more. This is going to be hell. This one's going to be awful. Give it to me in that scale. Give it to me in, in numbers instead. So like you know what this is. because otherwise I have absolutely no idea how to do this. This is like that puzzle in Mist, but way worse. Shush, shush, shush. <laughs> stop, fucking stop it. Okay. One. Everything goes lower.
Hooray! That's fucking teamwork! Okay, I, I should turn that into a, a noise clip too, so we can use that. Okay, those obviously have nothing to do with this. Um... Alright, no, not you, not, not... Fuck, no, not you. Damn it! God, I hate this interface. Williams insists as we separate them, Irene is going to be 29307. Alright. We still, by the way, haven't found that other room. Uh, back in the hub. So... Only, only wherever this get me down the ramp. Wherever this goes, it's someplace completely different. Uh, two nine three zero seven. To the control room. William Mandrake, lab computer password. Oh, okay. It's smoke. For a minute there. I saw those clouds and it made a shadow. I thought there was something outside. Here's my password to the research lab maintenance computer. Let's see, maintenance. I thought you might need it in case you get it. 9473625319370. Okay. Unlock oh, really? This is the this is it? Or that just okay, this is the unlock for back there, so then we have to go back there and then there's gonna be a computer in there. Like there's that tower. We can kinda see new areas that are about to open up here. Did say something about the ruins. The the fact that we have the flashlight means that they could have made this just a little bit creepier where we could be in the dark 